Where are we? A time labyrinth, Koopo. I think we're inside the paradox. Oh, no. We have to figure out the labyrinth and its puzzles before we can get out, Koopo. Working. Let's see what it does, yeah? Let's. lets us control Atlas. All we can do is pray. <laughs> Here goes nothing. chance. used in some war that happens in the future? Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, I remember this. Are you forgetting stuff? My memories are unreliable. There are events I should remember, but my memory is hazy, like I'm seeing them through fog glass. But not this time. I remember this one. There was a war, hundreds of years before I was born. That's when Cocoon crashed into Pulse. But 
And what happens to Cocoon's pillar? What happens to Lightning and the others? They say the pillar crumbled. In my age, there's nothing left but crystal sand. If we travel to the future, maybe we can stop it. Who's to say what's possible? That could be the reason we're here in the first place. Waiting for! 
How did we get here? No, look out! Move! I think I found his weak spot. Ready? Do it! Wait for it! Now! to the paradox effect. This is just a theory, but I think there might be someone out there derailing history and bending the timeline. That's why Atlas and these gates are appearing out of nowhere. Is this why Cocoon has been destroyed in your future? Huh. I hadn't thought of that possibility. You're saying that I was born in some kind of alternate timeline? If that's true, then is someone trying to destroy the pillar? And is lightning trying to stop them? Alyssa, we took Atlas down. That place you were looking for is right in front of us. That's great news! I'm on my way!
There's an epitaph. Here lie the innocent victims of chance, cast out and cast down. May their souls find the path that leads them home. Cast out? These must be victims of the Purge. This is it! This is the place! <sighs> not my name. Then whose is it? Kubo. It's my friend's. She died here, running from the Purge. Uh, and me? I'm one of those who survived. Uh, five years ago, the entire town of Bodum, it was wiped out by the army. I was there, visiting my friend. Then everything went to hell. We ran and hid with the other fugitives. But just as the troops were pulling out, that's when the ceiling of our hiding place collapsed. <sighs> Ever since then, I've had the same dream. I'm trapped under rubble. It's dark. I'm in pain. And I can barely breathe. The next thing I know, I rise out of my body, and I'm standing before this grave. And the name written on the stone, it's mine. After seeing that image so many times, I started to think that maybe I did die back then, and the life I'm living now is just an illusion. Alyssa, can you feel that way too? Well, you seem real to me. <laughs> real enough, I guess. Even if they all forget, I never will. And neither will I. I can never forget. The events that scarred Alyssa were started by Lassie. If I had never become Lassie, if I had never made those mistakes, then the Purge, well, it may never have happened. Lightning, is there any way to make up for the suffering we've caused? Can we ever give back what we've taken? Okay then, I think that wraps things up for Alyssa. Now for our little quest. Right. Let's find an artifact and open a gate. So, where should we look? Well, now we've cleared up the paradox effect, it's possible those sneaky artifacts have come out of hiding. Let's try searching those areas we couldn't reach. <sighs> Time for some Mooko magic. Kaboom! Huh? Mog, you can help? You're a lifesaver! Koopa Koopa!
Way to go, Bobblehead. Nice mug. Koopa, Koopa. Back to the gate.
Have you seen the two prisoners? Who are they? Yes, yes, it worked. Topo. Sarah, you okay? Topo? It's nothing. I'm fine, really. Just tired, I guess. Hmm. Right. Somehow I kind of doubt it's nothing. We unraveled the paradox and continued on to another time, another place. But why had these gates appeared? Who had tangled the timelines, and for what purpose? We still didn't know. Why am I able to fix these temporal anomalies, bend monsters to my will? Why do I have this power at all? I'll keep traveling with Noel. Knowing that we'll find you eventually. So Lightning, if you're watching, do what you can to guide us to your side. I hope we land right in the place where Lightning is waiting. Where do you think we'll end up this time? The future? The past? I have no idea. With all this jumping back and forth, I'm not sure I know which is which anymore. <laughs> but the past is what makes us who we are. Defines us as people. The future that we're aiming for, that's the thing we can change. No matter how bad things have been, without that past, I wouldn't be who I am now. That makes sense. So Sarah, you shouldn't feel like you're wasting your time. Even if we don't arrive in Valhalla, there's still value in every path we take. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> but hey, I won't complain if we do end up there. All this running around is exhausting. <laughs> hey, make up your mind. <laughs> Just be honest with yourself. If you are, you'll be sure to arrive in the future you want.
Sarah, forgive me. That was a past you never should have had to deal with. But now, because of your courage, the timelines have one less knot to unravel. If I could, I would thank you for what you have accomplished. But I can't. Not just yet. Human society continues to develop. Machines once run by the Falci are now powered by human technology. Driving the progress is the Academy, which has grown to take a leading role in affairs of state. Under its young leader, the Academy is working to solve the paradoxes that warp the surrounding space-time. At the heart of the distortions is the Yasha's Massif, its skies darkened by a perpetual eclipse. People always say, the future will be better. They believe the hardships of the present fade with the passage of time. And so we hope, waiting for a future brighter than today. But Sarah, remember this. As you walk towards a brighter tomorrow, you have to look back to your past. The path you have walked to reach the here and now will give you the courage you need to hope. It's so dark. In ancient times, the Falci devoured the light, darkness cloaked the sky, and the Earth knew only night. This must be the Eclipse. You know what this is? They said 500 years ago, a massive Falci appeared. For a while, it blotted out the sun and turned everything dark. If that happened 500 years in your past, then this must be 200 years in my future. Right. But something's wrong. Look, the eclipse is only affecting this small area. That shouldn't be possible. Okay, so you're saying this could be a paradox? That's what I'm saying. Huh. <laughs> This reminds me of stories we heard, that there used to be a great city on Grand Pulse. I bet this is what these ruins are. What happened to it? No one's been able to figure that out. We were more or less locked up inside Cocoon. We never had much opportunity to learn about the world below us. Our scientists have only just begun to study the mysteries of Grand Pulse. 